Bar. So this is our another React Native tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be learning how to do this animation. So let me reload it. Um, uh, an object would fall down. As it falls down it would rotate and change the border from 0 to 50. So let's take a look again. Let me reload it. So it's reloading. See that effect. Okay, so this is what we'd be going to do. So to get started, let me delete everything that I've done early, and uh, I'll explain you one uh, thoroughly how to do every step. So let's go ahead and do it. Yes. Okay. All right. And uh, okay. To get started, we'd be doing with animated view, and. Uh, well, because uh, we want to animate an object, so that's why we call animated.view from uh, React Native. Okay, and first we want to create an object over here, and that object would be a uh, square. So let's go ahead and do it, give it some styles here. Styles. Well, I'll call it object, and give it some default properties. So I want to give it width 100 height 100 background color I'll give it 3 3 cc ff and I'll give it position position absolute and left position 160 and for now top position 150 which will change a bit later uh, so far the work we have done let's save it and see the result okay so that's what we have now so now we want to do animation and we want it to fall down like this somewhere over here okay so to do that we need to declare a state variable so let's go ahead and do it so I'll call it fall and I'll create a new object as a fall so animated the value and we'll start from zero for now but we'll change it later to 150 all right and now we want to animate this value to animate this value so to animate this value so we'll be calling animated.spring instead of timing this time we would use animated.spring because we want to simulate real world object falling so which in most cases bounce back so in our case we'll after the object falls it will bounce back so that's why we would be using spring instead of um, a timing but with the timing you can achieve the same result uh, but uh, I don't like it I like spring it's more like real world thing okay uh, anyway so the first object it state is it takes is the animated value that we want to animate the value we want to animate so let's go ahead and call it so in this case this is this state dot fall and uh, we want to go to the value to 450 and the duration 2000 milliseconds or two seconds and use native driver true all right so that's what we want to do and let's go ahead and start the animation once we uh, tell it how to do so once again here we want to animate this one to fall down like this so that's why we created a variable called fall and we would animate this value from 0 to 450 using spring uh, function and then we'll start the animation before we'll start the animation we want to give it friction friction 1 and the tension 20 friction tells you how fast it should come down or stop like this stop after I mean how fast it should stop so higher the friction uh, the faster it stops it doesn't bounce back so lower the friction it bounces back a lot all right so here as we load the app it will start the animation automatically okay and but of course we need to pass this animated value which is being animated over 2000 milliseconds pass it to over here so first we have to uh, get the uh, value so to do that we'll create a variable called trans and uh, uh, because this is going up and down so this is called transform position so 
we'll use this uh, property called transform and it takes array of object first object we'll be doing as uh, translate uh, translate y and uh, this would take the value this dot state dot fall okay all right so now we need to pass it over here so let's pass it of course you can also write it here but i think it's a little bit too jammed or compact i don't want to do it so that's why i did it separately okay so so far this is what we have now let's save it and see the end result okay wow so it falls back and bounces right okay so so far things are working good and now we want to rotate it as it falls we want to rotate it so let's go ahead and declare another state variable and we'll call it call it rotate so new animated dot value zero all right okay so now to get a head start we'll copy paste it but in this case instead of using spring would we'll be using timing and of course this is not the fall variable this is the rotate variable and the rest of the things doesn't really change so rotation would start from zero and it would reach the complete value to one and of course as it is rotation we also need to trans uh, uh, interpolate this thing to interpolate so we have to pass another well this is first thing is rotation so uh, transform takes a variable or property called rotate so we have to pass the value over here to rotate and we'll call the state variable this dot state dot rotate then we need to interpolate it okay uh, so we need to give it some input range and output range so input range uh, from 0 to 1 0 to 1 and uh, output range from 0 degree to 300 degree 360 deg all right we're good now okay so now let's save it and see what happens before we save it we have a problem the problem is we have to start but we want the animation to happen parallelly so to do that we need to call another function in animated that's called parallel and uh, all it does it takes array of objects so just call the objects name but before that we need to create them so we can call them uh, as an object or as a function doesn't matter how you understand constant I would say fall anim okay and over here constant rotate anim all right we're good so now we don't want to start them over here we want to start them separately uh, over here so call fall anim so which means fall anim will start first and then we'll call rotate anim so with parallel we can start few animations or some animation at the same time so that's why you want to call them within parallel and after doing that you need to call the start function which is must okay now we would be good all right so so we'd be starting fall anim and rotate anim at the same time so that's why we call them within parallel um, function so and other animated value has has been given over here and uh, the rotation would start from zero degree and it'll reach to one and uh, as it goes from zero to one the output range output range would be like from zero to 360 degree so there is no way directly input the result the output result here like zero to 360 degree that's why you have to convert it and to do the conversion we use the interpolate function so you can understand it like this because you can't really supply rotate 300 degree over here so you need interpolation to convert from certain values to certain degree so this is the extra step we need to do now let's save it and i think everything should be working so far fine all right 
okay all right as you say as it fell down and it was rotating all right so now other thing we need to do what else we need to do we need to change the border as it falls down so let's go ahead and create another value to control the radius or border I would say border okay good all right now to get a head start again uh, let's go ahead and paste this and I'll call it border name and over here the value is border we are good and it should be reading from 0 to 50 because I want it has to have it, it become like a circle okay because our current width and height they're all hundred and hundred so to give it a cir circle as, uh, to look like a circle we need to give it a radius to 50 like that okay so we'll take 2000 milliseconds to reach the value to 50 and then we need to call it so let's call border enim and we are good and as usual we have to pass the border over here do remember border radius is not part of transform object so you can't pass it inside it otherwise we'll get an error so we have to pass it separately over here so call it border well i, I want to do it down here though mm, let's see down here border radius border radius this dot state dot border okay we should be good right now let's see everything should be good Okay. All right. Now let's save it. Now, cool animation. As you saw, as it fell down, it was rotating and slowly become a circle. So the value over here, of course, you can play around with it. So let me change it to 250. See how it goes. Yes, it's, it's much better now. And we don't want it to be over here top. We don't want it to define like this. I wanted the uh, initial value over here would be 150 but the result is same yes all right it's much better now okay now we change it to 450 let's see okay now change it to 350 yes this is perfect so guys it's a cool animation that we have learned the few things we did because we wanted to do parallel animation so that's why we decide we declared three values and we also gave them default values so all of them reach to certain end values within 2000 milliseconds and uh, for rotation we had to interpolate because for rotation we can't really assign property zero dag directly so we had to convert from some values to other values and um, that's it so if you guys like the video don't forget to subscribe and gives me a thumbs up thank you so much see you in another video